So, hello guys, uh, I'm Nihar and today I'll be showing you guys how to change the basic font of Atom Text Editor. Uh, we already know that there are some packages like fonts which can be found uh, from the install in the settings. You just have to open settings and there you have to search for phones and click enter now i have already downloaded and installed this phones package so after installing that what we are going to do is uh, as you can see when we go to packages and we search for phones our installed phones package we can see over here and now we're trying to change the system font but here is the thing there are many phones available uh, in this phones package but if you want an external font to be installed then i'll show you how it's done first of all you need to download a particular font from a website uh, basically a ttf file uh, this is a website 1001phones.com it's quite nice so I love a font called audio wide so I have just downloaded the font as you can see it's in zip folder and uh, now I'll be extracting it okay so now it has been extracted now let's see so this is the font now what we have to do is we have extracted this font on the screen now open atom and in settings now we are going to click on view code when we click on view code it will take some time and open a new another another uh, window and it would be looking something like this and here you can see points written on the top now right click over here and click on show in file manager now when you click on show in file manager you will see this particular folder now what you have to do is the font you have downloaded and extracted this audio wide you just need to copy this from here ctrlc to the phones folder and in resources there, there you can see many phones available just paste it over here as you can see my audio wide is pasted over here now the next step you are going to do is open the same uh, window and now in this you can see three you have to uh, basically um, edit in three folders as you can see uh, there is a script folder over here you have to uh, enlarge the script folder and you'll find fonts.yaml now what you have to do is in resources just open audio wide and double click on it first of all rename it to a smaller simpler name i'll just rename it to a u t i o w i d e okay now double click on it and as you can see its name is capital letter a and U T I O W I D E. Now we have to keep this in mind. We are going to use this name uh, in our overall editing of the main package. Okay. So uh, we are going to use this audio wide. And as you can see, that we have pasted this audio wide in our resources folder, which is this one. This resource folder. Is same as this 
you can find audio wire here on also you see this here it is the our audio wire okay so minimize this and now open script in script you have to open phones.yaml now you have to manually type over here okay yes now these these anonymous pro and Oriol and Sans Mono these are different different phones in a similar way we are going to uh, make a new font of ours and it will be called capital letter A U T I O W I D E and this audio wide and after that space and then this and now you have to enter the path the path where uh, or your font is kept so it is kept in let's see in resources we don't have to uh, put the path resources we just have to uh, need we just need to know the name of the folder and it's small letter audio wide and then slash capital letter audio wide dot t ttf a u d i o w i t e audio wide slash a u d i o w i t e dot ttf audio wide dot ttf now save it cgrls it will be saved and now you have to uh, open styles and in here you have to click on phones and as you can see there are many phones over here they are same as all the phones shown in resources kept in resources and all the fo phones represented in this font.yml there the, uh, this uh, phones dot less is the settings for the same phones so now we have to create a setting for uh, our audio wide phone anywhere you can put it anywhere so basically i'll be copying this whole uh, you can copy any of it and then edit by your own uh, suitable way ctrlc now i'll be going to keep it just here press enter just click here and press enter you will be uh, there in the next line and paste whatever you have copied now we are going to edit this middle portion one by one so the name of our um, font is audio white capital letter a a u t i o audio white now bold normal you can keep it bold or normal whatever you like i'll just keep bold and normal then I'm going to uh, edit these two settings, these things inside the comma. And I'll write the path that is A U D I O W I T E slash A U D I O W I T E dot T T F audio wide dot T T F. So now save this whole CTRL S. Now one more thing you have to do. Basically we have to open package.json. Okay, just wait. Yeah. In package.json we are going to add uh, our uh, audio wide font name so that it appears in the drop down menu in that font package. Let it be A U D I O W I D E and then comma and CTRL S and all all's done. Now we'll close this and we'll low we will see let's check. Um yes. Now let's see if uh, not shown yet we have to restart the item text editor 
let's see what happens it's taking quite a lot of time to open just hold on for a moment yes now it's open few seconds more okay now let's check where, whether our uh, font appeared or not uh, it's called audio wide and you can see here audio wide yes and now you can see uh, the font our font you can see it's over here as we have selected you can see the font has changed this font has been changed to audio wide earlier it looked something uh, other than this and now it has been changed so you can uh, pause the video and go to the starting point and check uh, how the font looks how, how the font looked back then and now how it's looking so this is how we can change uh, we can uh, uh, use an external ttf file to change atom uh, the font of atom text editor and by the way if you guys like the font that i'm using right now as you can see it's quite sparkling and you know i love this so it's called hemi something i don't know it's called yeah hemi head bd IT BDIT stands for bold and italic. You can see Hemi Head RG. The name of the font is Hemi Head RG. It's quite nice font. I use it. I use this. So thank you guys. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you.